www.decibets.com Hi, I'm Isha Guha and you're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. I first got into cricket when my parents took me down to the local cricket club at High Wycombe. Um, I started playing with the boys' cults there because there weren't any girls' teams around at the time. And I think for me, it was always inevitable because I came from an Asian background. It was pretty much instilled in me from an early age. My parents came over to England in the 70s from Kolkata and uh, cricket was always on on television. My parents would always talk about it. And my brother played a lot of cricket, so he is seven years older than me. He would always play in the back garden with his friends and I used to try and chase after the ball um, when he was playing. So I think it was kind of ine inevitable. Who and what was your biggest influence on you becoming an England cricketer? Um, I think when I first met Charlotte Edwards, uh, I was 11 years old and I went along to a, a territorial um, tournament uh, whereby you have the best um, youngsters in the country playing together in a tournament and that's where you're, um, you have scouts who, who pick you for the England development squad and whatsoever and that's when I first met Charlotte Edwards and she just got into the England side at the age of 16 as a child prodigy. There was a lot of talk about her uh, and it was kind of the first time I really realised that, that England had a women's national side. Uh, and from that point on, I, I said to myself, that's really exciting. It's something I've always wanted to do since then, um, to, to be able to represent England uh, and play cricket for them. At one point, you were ranked number one in the ODI rankings. You claimed many Ashes wickets. You became a World Cup winner. What was the most special moment for you? I think the most special moment was winning the World Cup in 2009 over in Australia. Um, I think from being in an unfancy side um, in 2002 when I first got into to the team. You know, we were nowhere near beating the likes of Australia and New Zealand and there was this real journey that we all went on together um, across seven years where we had a lot of ups and downs and it was a bit of a roller coaster. Um, but we gained a lot more support from the ECB and that, that um, we were able to reap the benefits um, come the later stages and obviously going into the World Cup we'd we come off the back of 11 straight wins, so we were feeling very confident. Uh, and to be able to go over there, especially, um, and, and win over in Sydney was a really proud moment for all of us. Who was the toughest opponent you played against, both in terms of team and player? Australia always. Um, th there's always been this rivalry between England and Australia. Uh, and you always tend to to get yourself up more for those games. Not that you don't for, the, for any of the other games, but there's just so much more behind it. There's a lot more history behind it. So um, I always really enjoy the challenges of those games. And uh, in particular, I think the hardest person for me to bowl at was actually um, Hayley Tiffin, um, who plays for New Zealand. Uh, she always used to walk across her stumps uh, and she always managed to get the ball over to the leg side somehow, so it made it very difficult for me to bowl at her. Um, but yeah, no, I, you know, you always try and enjoy these challenges. Do you feel the women's game has improved over time? I definitely think it has improved uh, across, you know, the last decade. I, I think the skills have improved. I think the girls are a lot fitter than they have been. Uh, there are more girls hitting, hitting the ball for six, there are more girls who can bowl bouncers uh, and in terms of skill levels there's a, there's a lot more variety to, to the way people bowl. Um, and I think you're now seeing in women's cricket that because the competition levels have increased you're seeing more teams um, having games where it comes down to the last few balls of the match which ultimately is better for the spectator. Uh, and you're having teams that can compete with each other because there's more depth of the skill levels of the cricketers. You've been covering the IPL both in India and UK. How's the experience been for you? Yeah, it's been a, a wonderful experience, to be honest. Um, I got the opportunity to host the IPL four years ago uh, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, it's a really exciting competition uh, and I've been able to work with some of the greats of the game, so um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and obviously been over to India to work on the Sony Max show, which is a completely different type of show to the to the one over here. Um, it's full of excitement. You dance onto the stage. There's cheerleaders on the stage. There's a band. There's a DJ, uh, and it really just is about pure entertainment. Quick rapid fire round. Favorite music and band? Brother and Bones. Uh, favorite Rock. food and drink? 
Uh, food and drink, my mum's curry. Are you superstitious? Yes. Describe yourself in three words. Crazy, determined, passionate. And finally, which living person would you like to meet? Um, Noel Gallagher. Mm. <laughs>